allow me to, to read to us some of the comforting verses from the Bible. In the book of John, chapter 11, verses 25 and 26, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Paul said in Romans chapter 14, verses 7 and 8, For none of us lives for ourselves alone, and none of us dies for ourselves alone. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Prophet Isaiah said, So do not fear. I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will I'll hope, uphold you with my righteous hand. With those comforting words, it's indeed an honor for me as a worship leader for this uh, farewell uh, service to extend a warm welcome and appreciation in the name of our Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. To Mrs. Tiko Itonga and the children, Nabunua Wai Katakata, Virna Wani Turanga na Tsiorabu, Uno Erna Vula, Wana Turanga na Tuisambeto. To His uh, Excellency the President, sir, the Honorable Prime Minister, the Honorable Cabinet Ministers, Honorable Members of the Parliament, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, men and women from the RFMF, representatives from the government ministries and departments, ladies and gentlemen. We came in Viokani, Nivaba, Koso, Lenilotu, and Lomoni, Tamadada, Gotomoni, Pacifica, Kenya, Viokani, and the Tiko, and the Singh, and Dendai. Your presence in this farewell service is very much appreciated as we come to support the family of the late High Commissioner, Brigadier General retired Mosese Tikoitonga and his good wife and children. In their time of bereavement, and also we are here to farewell their dead in a journey no one will avoid. The order of service are in the program that you have. I won't take much of our time. And I call if we shall rise to proceed with the service and ask the choir to lead us with the hymn provided this morning. <laughs>
seated. Let us come to God in prayer and let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, the Creator of the universe and the Father of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we gather here today before you, O Lord, as relatives, friends, believers, and workmates of the late Mr. Tikoi Tonga. We are here, Lord, to thank you for the life of Mr. Tikoi Tonga, who you have been called back home to where everyone lives after this life. We appreciate you, Lord, for putting him in this world for just the period of time we acknowledge for all his contribution and work he had done during his short stay. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the life of his family, Mrs. Tikoi Tonga and the children, though so they are going through difficult moments of their life, but we believe that you will be the power of strength in whatever situation they are in. Please, Heavenly Father, console them, support them, and give them guidance. I commit to you this occasion. May your strength and your blessings and your love and your care be upon everyone during this bereavement time. Kemba mi vogo bini benaka kibe kemuni. Nawa lebu na nono mbula na nono ni tamata. Sangwa le ni kibe kemuni. Nawa lebu na nono bubale. Mbi sa masu na kalu mi sombuki na na viva kalu ngataki. Tengu ba kalu malanya. Ngori na nema mi masu safa kwa thambori kibe kemuni. Thambo na masu na the chisu na nema mi turanga. Kwa safa wabuli di kemami me kemami masu vata kakaya. Maike mami me lo malanyi. Roro take in the money, the other mind and no money matter to I request the choir to sing him to us as we remain seated.
according to our uh, order of service. Um, I have given the moment to the delivering of the eulogies. Osana kera sa kachuko na bonua, and abu ni kera maitau sa kachuko na bossa ba bonua, and um, and matakan din dai na muri chuma na bossa mina matival. There is no greater love that no man than this, to lay down his life for his fellow man. Musa Chubakana Turan Chiura Nunova Turan, 
Mari kita kata. Ngaji kita tengah air dan bula. Kurang mau mulai untuk disendat. Aku sakir kiri juga na Unua watu rangai rua Nga bebo soti Nga zabuta chiko na Tutu kundi bagi bebo adho do taki Nga brigadier general Chiko itonga ena bosa wapa bala The honorable prime minister sir Major general Siti bebo enro moko Honorable Ministers, Members of Parliament, <coughs> Members of the Diplomatic, Diplomatic Corps, Former Commanders of the RFMF, and Distinguished Guests. On behalf of the Commander-in-Chief and President of the Republic of Fiji, the Colonel of the Regiment, the Commander of the Republic of Fiji Military Forces, officers and men and women of the RFMF, I stand before you today to deliver a, the old eulogy to remember and honor the illustrious life of dedication and service to the Republic of Fiji Military Forces of the late 23684 Brigadier General Mosese Tiguitong. The late Brigadier General Moses Etikoi Tonga was enlisted into the Royal Fiji Military Forces on the 1st November 1981 when he was 21 years old. He served a total of 34 years in the RFMF. In 1986, he was selected to attend the Officer Cadet Training Course and graduated as a Second Lieutenant in the same year. Thus began his career as an officer in the RFMF. He was one of the few officers who saw the transition of the RFMF from a depot, a small infantry unit of men, to its expansion in late 1987 to what it has now become. He attended various courses designed for promotion through the officer's rank, locally and in military colleges overseas, especially in Australia and in India. In Fiji, he attended the junior staff officers course, the grade three staff company te te tactics course, training development officers course, and grade two unit tactics course. In Australia, he attended the immediate officers course, intermediate officers course, and in the Australian command and staff college, he graduated with a master's of management defense studies. Affiliated, affiliated through Canberra University. In India, he attended the National Defense College and graduated with a Master's of Philosophy in Defense, in Defense and Strategic Studies, affiliated through the Mandra University. In October 2004, he was appointed Chief of Staff, Chief Staff Operations and Commanding Officer of the Land Force Command. He was appointed Chief of Staff in the Land Force Command in July of 2007. And in October 2010, he was appointed the Land Force Commander. The 5th March 2014, Brigadier Tikoi was appointed Commander of the Republic of Fiji Military Forces. And he resigned as Commander of the, of the RFMF to pursue a career of foreign services in July of 2015. He was afforded, awarded the following medals and awards. The Republic of Fiji Medal, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon Peacekeeping Medal, Multinational Observer Peacekeeping Medal in Sinai, United Nations Mission in Iraq Forces Keeping Peacekeeping Medal, United Nations Mission in South Sudan, UNMIS, Peacekeeping Medal, 
United Nations Transi Transitional Admission in East Timor, also a peacekeeping matter. The Meritorious Service Decoration, the Command Medal, and the Officer of the Order of Fiji, and the General Service Medal. The late Brigadier General Moses Tikuitonga is a dedicated senior officer of the RFMF. He was a true leader, and his dedication speaks volume of the character he holds dearly. Finally, may I quote a verse from the Bible, Revelation chapter 14, verse 13, which I think is appropriate for his family and friends who are gathered here. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write this, Blessed are the dead who died in the Lord, from henceforth, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. The RFMF thanks the Lord Almighty for providing the life of a dedicated soldier and officer who had really shown true character and willingness to serve diligently throughout his entire life in the RFMF. We thank the Manu of Waikatkata for grooming a faithful servant and leader. Mrs. Chu Chikoitonga and the family. We say, we na kawagalevu, na vito konyanga, kei na basot. We would like to echo to you the words of Mark Twain when he writes, and I quote, behind every great and successful man, there stands a woman. We pray the good Lord will shower his bless blessings onto your family and continue to fight the good fight that the late Brigadier General Moses Tikuitong has shown in his life. For he gave his today for our tomorrow. We shall meet again. President of the Republic of Fiji, the Prime Minister of the Government of the Republic of Fiji, Members of Parliament of the Republic of Fiji, Commander of the Fiji Military Forces, Excellencies and Representatives of the Diplomatic Corps, Immediate Family and Relatives of the Late Excellency Moses Tikoitonga, Friends, Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great sadness and heartfelt sorrow that I stand before you to pay tribute and also celebrate the fulfilling life of a great son and civil servant of Fiji, Melanesia and our region. Whose contribution and legacy transcends boundaries. Papua New Guinea values and acknowledges His Excellency's contribution towards strengthening existing and fostering potential in new areas of bilateral relations between Papua New Guinea and Fiji 
through its diplomatic representation to Papua New Guinea and Fiji and accredited countries in Melanesia. His Excellency, the late High Commissioner to Papua New Guinea, Brigadier General, retired, Moses Tikoitonga, has many friends in Papua New Guinea, friends from all walks of life, from the public and private sector, including former schoolmates and senior ranking officials from PNG Defense Force. That was evident in a moving funeral service held at the Reverend Sioni Kami Memorial Church early this week in Port Moresby. When late High Commissioner was farewell in Port Moresby, it was a customary farewell with the presentation of Billum, sell money, and peak task signifying his status. He became a part of our family when he left the source of Fiji to be with us in Papua New Guinea. In our custom and uh, as Melanesians, we respect and treat a visitor as our family member. He was one of us, an adopted son of Papua New Guinea. His Excellency, late High Commissioner was a true Melanesian at heart. He was not only a diplomat, but a good friend and a brother to us all, and this will remain edged in our hearts and history of Papua New Guinea. The one talks who have accompanied the late High Commissioner from Port Mosby to Fiji, representing our Fijian community in PNZ and wider PNZ community, truly reveals his lasting friendship and camaraderie to our country and its people. We pay our respects and grieve with his family and loved ones in Fiji, and also according our customary respects from receiving His Excellency on arrival in Fiji until we bid our final farewell to this great man as he is laid to rest later today. To Madam Tikoitonga, children, grandchildren, immediate and extended families and relatives, Papua New Guinea extends its sincerest condolence again on the loss of your husband, father, grandfather, and a pillar for his people. As much as the late High Commissioner is a loss to you, it is a loss to us. We share the same loss and grieve with you in this time of bewilderment. We pray that the good Lord will continue to grant you peace and comfort and strength. We thank the good Lord for his life and contributions to Fiji, PNZ, and our region. While it is a loss for us all, we are comforted that it is a gain for heaven. Thank you, True One Talk. Long all get a good work, blow you. Go malolo good now. More there. Thank you, True. We na kawaka level. Tak tiga 
Kuno boi turang erua. Kuno kata-kata. Nah, iya rendah bola. Udah itu-itu kena turang di sempet. Itu kena kuno boi turang ekumbun. Udah itu-itu kena ngonturang bayang di kampan abun di balu. Itu setelengan kuno boi turang yang bermesang. Terangan merembal na roti rakyati Terangan abu ni palu Tiba terang terang na terang ni Kono bu terang na Nama tentu berkani bu terang na tawat Dosa itu na Wita dini bu ital tal Mekere na Wibu soit ini na teman di tengah na pas ini Wibu adu adu taki Eh, nampak sebab balangi, ni dah tiga belas rumah kita tiga betul kerana turang amaran mata mana bi maten tu, kerana wamuria, wah boleh kerana kena, bi bos ni bi bos tu tak kembali ti, hai komisna masih sedikit tonga, ni debut di bawah balangi. Ya, kerana si the president. And Commander in Chief of Fiji and the Republic of Fiji Military Forces. Your Excellency, the former President, former Commander in Chief, former Commander of the Republic of Fiji Military Forces, formerly the Royal Fiji Military Forces. Officers, men and women of the Republic of Fiji Military Forces. Your Excellencies, High Commissioners and, and uh, Ambassadors and members of the Diplomatic Corps. Honorable Ministers, Honorable Assistant Ministers and members of Parliament, Members of the uh, civil service of Fiji, ladies and gentlemen, in Ecclesiastes we read of the uh, wisest man who has ever lived lament about the changing of the times and seasons in life. His words are often spoken at memorial services such as the one we are at. And I quote, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to weep and a time to laugh. End of quote. Today marks for us a changing of the seasons as we farewell a distinguished diplomat, a soldier, a colleague, a leader, a mentor, a father, a husband to Chiu, a member of the foreign affairs and public service, father of his children, and a mother of Nua, of Nua Waikatakata. High Commissioner Moses Tiritonga was one who we can all attest to, was proud of his heritage, proud of his nation. A proud son of this country and of his land, who carried the noble banner blue until the end of his life. Whilst the extent of his career has seen High Commissioner Tiki Tonga serve in various capacities across the Fiji military forces and the Fijian government, over the years he also became a valued member of the foreign affairs family. 
and such he will be missed by all of us who knew and had the opportunity of working closely with him. And at this time, we remember the countries that he has served in. And our heart goes out to the people of Ethiopia as they struggle in the wars that besiege the country at this time. And also, the Governor General, the government and the people of Papua New Guinea as they grapple with the external security situation that they're going through at this time. High Commissioner Chiki Tonga began his uh, stint with Fiji's diplomatic service in 2016 when he served as Fiji's ambassador to Ethiopia and permanent representative to the African Union. In his office, in that office, he was also credited to nine other countries in the region, including Israel, Lebanon, and Iraq. Before he took up his uh, appointment, I met him at the golf course. And I told him, the last medal I wear it's a commemoration of the medal of the Battle of Adwa, which was fought more than 100 years ago. Now it's presented the medal to commemorate the great victory of the armies of Ethiopia that defeated the invading army of Italy in 1898. I was awarded the medal 100 years later to commemorate that battle. The greatest battle that's ever been won by the people of Ethiopia. And that they struggle at this time, we remember them. From Ethiopia, High Commissioner Tiki Tonga continued on to serve in Papua New Guinea for a one year stint from 2019 to 2020 before he returned to Fiji at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic and at the closure, temporary closure, of our mission there. Throughout his tenure, High Commissioner Tiki Tonga was often seen providing guidance and advice to the ministry's leadership at crucial times regarding the ministry's strategic, strategic operational planning, as well as the restructure and realignment process in 2019. He was also actively involved in the development of the ministry's strategic plan before he embarked on his assignment to Papua New Guinea. In April 2023, High Commissioner Tiki Tonga accepted a call to return to the mission ministry to serve as ambassador at large, and also in a training capacity in the ministry before he was posted to Papua New Guinea as High Commissioner, where he spent his last three months in faithful duty to his country. In spite of all his achievements, what he will be remembered for the most and missed the most is his ability to remain calm in times of adversity, his sense of humor that never failed to lighten the mood and his genuine approach and care for the staff of the ministry that he was one, and he was one who championed the welfare of the staff. In the same manner that the High Commissioner carried himself, he continuously reminded the staff of the importance of their work, the importance of people, and the government that they serve. The impact he made was evident in the words shared by his colleague ambassadors when news reached them of his demise. A fellow colleague and ambassador had this to say of High Commissioner Tiki Tonga, and I quote, as a diplomat, he was an open and serious spirit, law of low ego and equal hum humor, always calm under pressure, an exemplary son of Fiji, may his soul rest in perfect peace, end of quote. While life ends, the ministry will continue its responsibility to remember and will continue to build 
on his hard work and carry forward the mantle in furthering Fiji's global footprint. In my last conversation with him, when he took up his appointment as High Commissioner, two of the things that struck me were his forthrightness and honesty, and in that brief conversation, he had this to say, and I quote, Sir, I will be loyal to your government and to your leadership, and we will give this, this assignment everything I've got, end of quote. And that he did. True to his words, he hit the ground running and departed on a high note. Might I now take this moment to acknowledge High Commissioner Tiki Tonga's family. As a Government and Minister for Foreign Affairs, I extend to you, Mrs. Tiki Tonga, your children and extended family in the Vanua, the gratitude of a nation for His Excellency Brigadier General Tiki Tonga's years of service to our nation. May you find solace in the, in the knowledge that he fulfilled his oath and you can stand up proud of the legacy that he has left behind. I began by speaking of the wisest man who ever lived. And by the way, the uh, image of the man, King Solomon, is on that Ethiopian medal that I wear. I began by speaking about him. And it's only fitting that I end with his quote also from in Ecclesiastes 3.13, sorry, 311, where he writes, or he wrote, I quote, he has made everything beautiful in its time. He's also put eternity in the human hearts, end of quote. To eternity, High Commissioner Moses Tiki Tonga has gone to rest. And in eternity, we will meet again. Mother, mother, more. Well done good and faithful servant. Now we'll live. Distinguished guests, government officials, members of the diplomatic corps, colleagues, friends, and family. I'm Sophie Tikoitonga, the second daughter of Chiu and Mosesi Tikoitonga. Today I have been tasked to read a eulogy written by Mr. Ropate Vambialawa, who served as counselor while dad was the ambassador of Fiji to Ethiopia. A eulogy for the late Brigadier General retired Mr. Mosesi Tikoitonga, a diplomat, a mentor, a friend, a life of service and connection. I was requested by the Randini Turanga Mata to Papua New Guinea, my senior Ratusukuna Vulioti colleague, Madam Chi Tikoitonga, to pen my recollections of the time that I've spent with Mr. Tikoitonga 
and I was honored to do so. As I reflected on those beautiful times, my heart was heavy, yet brimming with the stories of a life so vibrant, it's hard to believe it's been silenced. We gather to remember Mr. Tikoi Tonga, not just as Fiji's High Commissioner to Papua New Guinea, but as a weaver of connections, a bridge across continents, and a voice that boomed with laughter and the echoes of a thousand bullas. Three years, they say, is a mere blip on the timeline of history. Yet in those three years I served as his counselor in Ethiopia, Mr. Tikoi Tonga etched a map of memories onto my soul, brighter than any embassy plaque. He wasn't your typical diplomat, mind you. Mr. Tikoi Tonga spoke the language of the people. Spiced with the Fiji flavor he carried wherever he went, he wielded the colorful F words like his chiefly staff, not to wound, but to punctuate his passion, his love for Fiji, and his unwavering belief in the Fijian diaspora scattered across the cradle of civilization. He saw beyond borders, beyond skin colors, beyond the lines drawn on maps. To him, every Fijian, every descendant of those brave souls who crossed the seas was family. He championed their dreams, celebrated their triumphs, and held their hands through hardship. He wove a tapestry of connections thread by thread, from the bustling Ethiopia, the scenic landscapes and wildlife preserves of Kenya, the very topography, great natural beauty, and cultural diversity of South Africa, the small, arid, narrow country of Israel, the most densely populated country in the Mediterranean, Lebanon, to sun-drenched Fiji, creating a vibrant community where distance melted away in the warmth of his spirit. Yet, Mr. Tikoi Tonga wasn't afraid to let his passion overflow. He could fill a room with his booming laughter, the kind that rattled chandeliers and shook off any hint of solemnity. He was a singing <coughs> diplomat, or that was the impression that he was projecting to us. He sang at every Yangona ceremony, or he tried to, his voice rough yet rich, carrying the stories of generations past. Fridays were known as cultural diplomacy days. Visitors to the embassy would be invited to the Fiji house to be entertained and serenaded. If there were no visitors, we would use the days to sharpen our vocal cords and to strengthen our wrist clapping movements to complement the billows of Yangona. Every sing and ringy or serenading session would end up with me carrying the blame for his off-key performances. He would quickly interrupt the singing with comments like, Counselor, ikondomo chico," loosely translated to mean that my voice was off key and flat, spoiling his harmonious voice. <laughs> I would usually inform him that I was the product of a school, Ratu Salala Sukuna Memorial School, where music and singing lessons were a major part of the school curriculum. Randini Mata to Papua New Guinea, Madam Tikoi Tonga, being a fellow old scholar, would support me. Or I would say something like, Sir, as your counselor, I can only protect your work and not your voice. <laughs> My responses would certainly be met every time with a colorful F words, <laughs> followed by tons of laughter. But beneath the booming voice and the infectious laughter, there was a depth you only discovered when the Angona bolts were empty and the stories had died down. A depth of wisdom gleaned from years of service a quiet compassion that touched hearts without fanfare. He listened, truly listened, to the hopes and fears of his people, carrying their burdens on his broad shoulders without a word of complaint. His typical response to every official complaint that I raised with him would be, Counselor, our duty is not to ask why, but to do and die. He reached into the depth of my soul through our military service connections and he knew that it would get me every time. Today, the tapestry he wove stands as a testament to his life. Fijians in the African continent and the Middle East, all bound by the threads of his dedication, his laughter, his unyielding belief in the power of connection. We may mourn his passing, but let us also celebrate his spirit, 
his unwavering bulla that echoed across continents and touched countless lives. Let us continue to weave the tapestry, he started, keeping his memory alive by reaching out, by building bridges, by reminding each other that we are, no matter where we roam, forever woven together in the fabric of Fiji. Mr. Tikoi Tonga, your journey on this earth may have ended, but the echoes of your laughter, the warmth of your smile, and the wisdom of your words will continue to rest in our hearts. Vinakavakalevu, my ambassador, my mentor, my friend, for your life, your service, and the gift of your presence. May you rest in the eternal embrace of the Fijian seas, your spirit forever woven into the fabric of the nation you so dearly loved. Signed, Ropate Zambelawa. Presidenti, <laughs> On the Turana Bonibal Matan Tunganga, your canyon at Tobat. So to the Gasaganda and I, and I took two in Bolovalo. Hey, Mr. Tiguitong. No one of Sakatu and Avalu Tungo and Lomanivana and Baki. Garabasatu and Lilian is also going to run. And do it on the wound now, go, go, and a lomani valley loot to go. Lorena Lunda Vica Witaki Alobar Rocco Caracilla Ticonaiva Vaco Solo to go in the wood in a lotu, and the Garabina Lubinita in Nona Valley. Never Takila no asset in Gavana Tikin eighteen Gatolu. Yau rongo de ndo na bosa mai lo malangi aka ve au bola sakalungata mai nangau no ngoko ira samate ni ra satu botake na turanga saka ne lo tambu i marapaka de ngu mana non radaka ka muri re na non ri bala bala ve ke mundu sa na le ni bu vale mistigo tonga to sa rongo de na Bosan ni bawa dah dah tak kita sarung kita rawa. Nenon rembula, nenon rai bosan bosan, nenon rai beli utaki, nenon rai tobo, nenon rai bingkar rabi, ke nenon rai jina tatu naik tabi. Kerana nuita kikina. Kau sambil nak kata, kau sana numan ni sana lama nalo tunggu. Ni nasi soliti guna baga dengan nalo mana ibu vale. Enam nasi men tu nang rau tini gawono, enam tiki nai tini galima. A kata le na mata i chowa na nona mata na nona tama ta elo sama sama. Kau sabi na kata mo sabi abin abin naka kina bonua o ay kata kata. Bina wale bina besu su bina ka. Na nuno mundo besu su sa kila na bonu biti. Sa kila na mata ni tu biti. Sa kila talaga na kina lotu. Sabi na kata mo sabi kada para na itu tungo. Kena yalo yalo tali rasa berotaka, nabe kanda sama yang beauty kanda indai indai, nai rai rai yang sanita kanda indai nai nonda kanda indai indai, macam apa kena nombi tawi, kau ni beauty tak kau sudah nombi tawi lo, nai rai rai ya rau dapu mata kena nombi tutu mata nombi mata itu, rau dapu mata kena nombi tutu watama, rau dapu mata kena nombi tutu wabing rabi, nai yalo yalo ya, 
Tabuano ni saka pitu kubeke anda. Nina nonda tiko enda inda ibon. Dabo bata kena nomi tabi. Kako ni biure takas koso na nomi tabi lo. Ati osake na naila wita dini baka itala tala. Na lili ni mata ni tu. Na preste endi to toke bola tangani. Preste endi baka dengu. Lai ni mata mbo se de dere. Na bo vale na beba kani. Sati ko enda inda i. Sa tu dake na ngusu mai na lotu. Tuk tuk ni bola baya lo. Ni mista tiko itonga. Sa basa kani kan lebo. Paul, since your passing is not a night, I go to sleep and not think of you. There's not a morning that I wake up and don't think of you. Even though you've gone, you remain a constant presence in my thoughts. I'll always cherish the memories we created and hold them close to my heart, remembering you always. Take this moment to save Naksaka Vakalim to our government, our Prime Minister, Our Excellency, to all the foreign delegates that's here. Vinakasaka Vakalim. I'm Angeline. I'm Moses's older sister. Moses is the third in the family, but he's called Paul at home. My family and I are sincerely grateful to each and every one of you that is here today to honor my brother's passing. I'd like to say thank you so much to those of you who have personally walked with Moses Tukitonga, trusted him, motivated him, inspired him to become the man that he is. To his good friends, his colleagues, his conf confidants, his drinking mates, Vinaka Sakavaklim. I know you've all heard Moses's career life. I'll tell you a little about my brother. He is a pain in the head. Paul was more than a brother to me. He was like my own son. I watched him grow up. I helped him through his education, his life. The position he held and the places he had been, when he came home, he was our younger brother. Those title, those whatever he didn't bring home, when he came home, he was Paul. And that was who he was in our lives. One Christmas, I bought presents for my two sons. And I also brought him a present. When he opened his present on Christmas morning, and it was a shaver, and he's watched his two nephew open their presents, and they had remote control cars. And he came to me in the kitchen, and he said, I can always buy a razor blade to shave. I don't need a shaver. I want one of those toys. So he went outside and he took my two boys' toys and he played with it and controlled it and he told the two boys to follow him. But when he was ready to come back into Suva, he asked me, where's my shaver? I said, go look in the rubbish. <laughs> That's where I've put it. 
I said, no, it's on top of your drawer and you can take it. That's Mosese. When he was at school, one thing I asked him, no drinking until you earn your own money. Because if you're going to drink, you'll be answerable to me. After he finished his exams in Form 6, there was a knock at my door early hours of the morning. And when I opened it up, Paul was standing at the door, drunk as. So I took him into the bedroom. I said, come, go and lie down. Once I got him into the bedroom, I locked the door and I punched him up good and proper. <laughs> and then I took him out and I said, go to Mbumbu up the Suva. I don't want to see your face here because if you're going to be in my house, I'll keep punching you up. And he said, how am I going to go? It's nearly 3 o'clock in the morning. I said, that's your business. You sort it out. So he went to Dolo Suva and early Sunday morning, my grandmother rings and he said, Sarah, come up to Dolo Suva I said, for lunch. I said, okay, I'll be there. When I went up, my brother was lying on his bed. His face was covered with a pillow, so I took the pillow off. It was all red and blue. So I lifted the pillow and gave him just a few more thumps before I went and saw my grandmother. And my grandmother said to me, I need you to talk to Paul. I said, why? Somebody punched him up, and I'm frightened because he might get punched up and be left on the side of the road. And I said, Mumbu, don't worry, I punched him up. But then she sat me down, and she gave me a hell of a good growling. You punched him up and you sent him out of the house at that hour of the morning to come to Dolly Suva. That's not right. You should have kept him home. But Mo was standing behind my grandmother and he said to me, we even. But see, that's Mo. And then when he finished high school, he wanted to do engineering. So he came to me and said, that's what he wanted to do. So got him enrolled at FIT and spoke to the engineering lecturer I knew personally and paid everything up. And then he comes to me and he says, if I don't get that leather bag in town, I won't attend classes tomorrow. So we went into town. The le leather bag cost more than what I earned in a week. But I said, I need that. He said to me, I want that. So I bought that for him. He did engineering and the lecturer said he was pretty good, but that only lasted a couple of months. And then he said he wanted to go and join the military. So he went and joined. And then he called me up and he said to me one day, I said, what do you mean in the Mbanivuaka? You mean to say you're in the pig style? He said, I said, you Mbanivuaka. I said, you messed up. I wish they lock you there for as long as they can lock you there. But anyway, then he went on to do his officer's training at ATG. And when he was done there, before he went in, he said to me, I need you to roast me chicken every Sunday and make me a salad and bring it to ATG on Sundays. I live in Pacific Harbor. And I said to him, it's quite a drive said, but you need me to do this, then you got to do that. So Sunday morning, I have to wake up really early to roast my brother's chicken and do his salad and take it to him. And I said, when is this going to stop? He said, I'll let you know. So that continued quite a few times. And then he said, OK, I'm good now. And then comes the big day that he comes to me in the office and he says to me, there's $800. And I said, what the hell am I gonna do with this $800? Is this my spending money? And he said, no, I'm getting married. Oh, but before that, he calls me from Sinai or wherever he was serving and he said, I heard you selling your house. I said, yes, I'm signing the sale and purchase agreement next week. And he said, no, you're not selling your house. You're keeping it for me and you're selling it to me. I said, but I need to sell it to pay off my debt. How much are you going to buy the house for? And it was four times less <laughs> than what the buyer wanted to pay for. But he came home, and sure enough, he got the house from me at the price that he wanted. Uh, there's a big hoo-ha at home between my husband and I. And I said, that's my younger brother. He gets what he wants. And that's 
been Moses say in my life. Then he gives me this $800, and I said, what is this $800 for? He said, oh, I'm getting married next week. I said, what the hell am I going to do with $800 to run a wedding? He said, you thought it out, Sarah, and he walks out the door, and that was it. That's Mosisi. Um, even though he traveled the world, he held all those positions, he knew all these people, but coming home, he was still my younger brother. Like Ruby and uh, Sophie read the F word. Every one of us hears the F word. But he's a very humble person. When he's home with us, his position doesn't come home to us. He is our younger brother. And that's who Mosesi is to us. There come these days that he comes home and he tells me to leave all my work and we go sit down under the mahogany tree and he shares his pain, his heartaches, his aspirations, whatever, and we sit and we talk and we hug and we cry. And I miss that. But through the years, over my hardest, hardest time, for me and my three children. Being my younger brother didn't make any difference to Mosese. He was there for me, and he saw me through that period of time. And for that, I'll always be grateful to him. My brother was my strength. I looked up to him and respected him so much. And I'm sure if he's looking down from there, he'd tell me, Sarah, that's enough, shut up and go sit down. <laughs> <clears throat> Paul would say, when you feel me in your heart, look up, I'm always there. Even though I may not be physically present, my spirit will always be there to guide you whenever you feel lost and alone. Take a moment to look up, know that I'm watching over you and that my life, my love for you will always be there for you. No matter where life takes you, keep your head up and know that you are loved and nothing can ever change that until we meet again. Mosese Tikoi Tonga, O Paul, with all the things I wanted to tell you, goodbye was never supposed to be one of them. Death came too soon and left us with a heart full of pain and sorrow. I shouldn't be laying you to rest. It should be the other way around. I miss you and I love you so much. Rest in peace, my brother, until we meet again. Vinakasakavaglevu, to each and every one of you, may God's love, peace, and joy be your company today and always. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of our beloved country, the Honorable Prime Minister, Cabinet Ministers, Senior Government Officials, Distinguished Guests, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, the Commander, Officers, Men and Women of the Republic of the Fiji Military Forces, Colleagues, Friends and Family. Mom, my siblings and I thank you so much for being here to help us farewell dad and give thanks to God for a life well lived. Your presence here today is not only comforting to our family, but is such a testament to the man that dad was and how many lives he touched during his journey. Thank you for being here, for your condolences, support and, and encouragement. We would not have been able to get through this difficult time without you. 
I thought I knew what heartbreak was until I lost my dad. However, as I stand up here today, I realize how fortunate we were to have him as our father. He showed us and gave us the world and introduced us to a life of privilege that would not have been attained without his determination, perseverance, dedication, and commitment. There are no words to express dad's influence in my life. It is through his example that I learned to be hardworking, dedicated, and let's be honest, sarcastic. Dad was the most hardworking person I know, but he was also strong, proud, and a strategic leader. He was also funny, charismatic, and charming. But above all, he loved his family, both nuclear and extended, and would do anything for them. He was dedicated to a life of public service, ensuring that his duties were fulfilled within the bounds of traditional and cultural protocols, carefully organizing things in the background, guiding the individuals who he felt needed to be at the forefront, irrespective of whether or not he received recognition for his contributions. However, he was no saint by any means or stretch of imagination. I've always looked forward to my family functions as my aunts and uncles and cousins would reminisce and tell stories of their youth and how unbelievably annoying dad was and his mischievous side that he surprisingly, unsurprisingly didn't grow out of. I'd hear stories of how he'd give a sarcastic response in a serious situation, irritate his siblings or bully my cousins, which my siblings are now reaping from. One of the biggest lessons I learned from my dad is the value of hard work, camaraderie, and the importance of service. I watched him wake up every day, put on his shoes, and go to work to not only provide for our family, but because there were people who relied on him to be there. I remember one year while we were in the middle of Cyclone Thomas with heavy rains and floods, but dad was only home to have a quick meal and a change of clothes before he returned to the office as he was part of the DISMAC team. That is the principle that I've brought with me into my own career, to always be there when people relied on me to be. Dad truly believed in the value of hard work, treating people right, Sorry. treating people right, following traditional protocols, and believing and trusting in God. Dad was really proud of his children and the way that we have all grown up. Sundays will not be the same without Dad waking everyone up bright and early to get breakfast ready on our back deck so that we could all eat together. His grandchildren would wait for him at the door when he got home with excitement and joy, which would last about five minutes before they began to fight over their pa's attention. And no matter how tired he was, he'd always make time to sit down with them, and they'd laugh, sing, recite nursery rhymes and Bible passages. And although my children are still very young, these are the memories that I hope they will carry with them, as well as the promise that irrespective of what anywhere, anyone else says, they are the apples of their pa's eyes, and he will love them forever and always. Dad allowed us to experience life outside the bubble of the comfort that we lived in, ensuring that we made our own mistakes and knew our responsibilities to our family, to the Vanua, to our children, and to each other. He showed strength and love until the very end, not letting any one of his children know how much pain he was in and constantly letting us know how much we were loved by him. Mom, Thank you. Thank you for being there with dad until the very end. Thank you for being strong for him in PNG while we were here. I only wish I had come and been a rock for you so that you could have also had a chance to rest. We owe you so much for being there with dad until the end of his journey and making sure he was comfortable. Dad, I may have given you a very hard time in my teen years, but you never gave up on me. Even when I was at my worst, you set me straight. 
I got angry and embarrassed, but I couldn't be any more thankful for the tough lessons, the straightforward disciplinary discourse, and for the fact that you never stopped pushing me to be the best version of me, not only for me and my children, but for mom and for Sophie and Elisa. Dad always protected me, even if at times it felt like it was the last thing I wanted him to do. Afterward, he would make it a point to break things down to help me understand why he protected me. These lessons ultimately helped me to learn how to connect and empathize with people, and it was all thanks to him. Dad, you wanted the best for me, and for that I will never settle for less. I want you to not worry about us. I look after Mom and Sophie, Elisa, Natanya, and Ariella. I'll take over the responsibilities that you left behind with dedication, love, and care. In closing, I want to remind everyone of the light that dad brought into our lives through jokes, camaraderie, reminiscence, and discussion over a tanoa or a cold beer. His kindness, generosity, and sense of humor will be sorely missed, but let us all take comfort in knowing that his legacy lives on in all of us. Let us honor and take memory by, by being dedicated to whatever it is we do, spreading love, care and compassion, respect for the Vanoa, and a light-hearted joke wherever we go. Pinaka. Uvotulusagana chuchukme lumatiliu. Sana went to run to Maduata and took in Bolatangani, the priest in the Matin Tulman. Nongorobo Rubir Sano went to run a ratuna to Inovatur and Damsana to run a prime minister, Ninonda Matin Tulman. Damsana to run a toke ni solara. Canunda bena to run a maram nuvi to link tag and a canadid vagina, non the Matin Tulmani, Nabulangi Dokai. Mati Valu Kikan de Tamitalari Nuakanda Samu in Dabungalungalu Boli, and Nua Singlu Malasa and Singan Dai Kremunu Vusoti Rakrimio Namarama Tabulengu Narendini Matavoving may be Papu New Guinea Mendu Nuguita in Bellet and Kiru Teti, what you and Dunani to Skinningale, my Sawani, my Wuna. My name is Asiri. Maramaranji ni kero nrabata ni uvasu na koro mai motokana oni lau karanra sagatalnga mai ya oira. Ngauno sagera tor sagatu na itu tu nusote uvo sanga bo itu ke kena langka sanga bo ni Asiri. Malaga sanga bo liu. Ngauno sagera tala tara sagatu na itu tu bo tala ibu buk ni uvasu uvasu loma. Awa krimi re na sala ni biokani kerana sangat ni review ke wan ni tu belu tu beta bang teksa kotel nga ni ron ron ni walu. Elanda ni labu sol viki tu elib ni labu sol mi dulu suwa ni kiri rumah vital no satu guna gua night dulu suwa susungi aw boleh buli me pakai saga boleh tak nama rama ngan yang ra ni single rumah lepasan single day asal so nak kurub buli me sawani asal so nak kurub buli me sawani Village school, the Rabiso Takim, Sawani primary, Rabiso Sakatalanga, the Kenna uniform, and Nangona second day. Her class are known to run a minister in Vuka Vatuke, and Nangona Torian two to watch him, and Ding Tegirana, Vuno Vuna, a ranging Tegio me, Kenna Maninja, a Rakrem, Nangona Serra, Tarasatuna, Tutuni, Vilu Tagena, Vuno Nibu Vodu Duntagi, Rasan Duna Program, Yadaka. Biar mai vivu ke ni tu kurbuli, orang sakera rusak tu, anak bunuh ni vivu tu tuh tak. Malah sabo lu turang ni tak, anak ngau nasi kaya, rapa dorba kaya, non non rapa mama sulut turang mata boleh dengu, mai papa nyugin. Rapa ker ker, kena mati tu, ni sasso nana ni tu kurbuli, kasul sekarang ni siapa yang mama nana milioni, ada apa malah kasi kaya. Nanti tu kurubuli, tarasagi nak kena kurubuli, wau nafal ni kesini kurubuli nak kira garden, 
na lab kena library. Asa kan nanon rumput natura mata bodi umpa punugian sama inta bungal ngalu. Ena kenda maliwa ena single mulek sa single day. Sapa mule mule kau boleh bunuh bunuh buna. Sapa mule mule kau boleh bunuh. Ena busa kan non rayal maleka. Ena busa kan di di non rayal sa. Weru tu kau nengko nanu gulutu. Kau vivu ke? Ena lom sa nanu tu cuci cuci. Kau tu kau nengko Kerja macam tu, kan dua sahaja naik cukup cukup, kan dua orang matang kau hilang dalam ibu na. Kerja titi bata, kan kerja dua orang ni ruh bulu. Enak, enak ngau na sekian dah. Enak ruh ambak kerja na undol rusa bulu kerua. Enak mada ni, i vivo andun dun tagi. Se mada ni bol vivo su. Enak ruh ruh ia na non ritu tu, boleh sengen dina. Enak ngau na sar tu kamboya, sa ruh ruh timu ma bulan na yada. Aungka isang ni biro mabula sa rutun ni biro night au sa liunggo pano turang au tun ni biro night ngayon number suliu na tutubang lutumos mas yaya na non lutu nir na nume na pinggara ni lutu e na biro nua er kadibia o ulo isa bintu ni tubang lutu riri riri rakamba e na ruo na kang tulo kangu matay e na boto tusa kina bunua Erbau tu tu sa kena lotu, kerbau tu tu sa virto na vici nai. Se menitab nak kaya teridi raya, enang awun endai kena bingun sangi mani, ulu se bintua eridi raya ena cigi naya, enang non rafah mamasu, merah kiri bibu soti ena bunua ena lotu, pon bimbi ena mateni ibu balai ena ibu balai, baga cugu itu aga virto na vici nai, kasarote, sarote, merdan natal main dono ngun ngun nubu iranding taki. Ena itu tu dia dari ranging tak segera. Aman ni tu kamu saka, mukir ribu soti, biira kiam mulu-mulu mani tu mbak si kembali nabu nabu na kasar nui tagi. Nina nabu soti kita nabu turang na ceurang, nabu soti kita nabu turang na tu sembeto. Kan nabu soti kita ni mulu-mulu mani tu mbak si kembali nabu guna nabu teladi nabu kanda sama inta bungal ngalu nabu matanda. Mulai kasar boleh nabu turang na ita nabu lomba. Nuri tak nak kalung ngat sangat juga, nampun nunggu yang gelis. Sama lagi saya boleh. Nak awal scripture reading this morning is taken from the Second Corinthians chapter three, verse three. Clearly, you are an epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink but by the Spirit of the living God, not on the tablets of the stone, but on tablets of flesh, that is, of the heart. May the Lord bless his holy word. And now call upon us to rise and sing the uh, thanksgiving hymn, and I call upon the, the choir to lead us with that hymn. Oh, 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 oh,
Giving memorial service to our beloved brother, the late Moses Tikoitonga, accredited to our Almighty Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Almighty, gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. It was it was already written in a book. Here we are asking for your intervention and revelation. Through your words we are about to hear today. We ask this in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. According to our impacted reading this morning by your servant Paul, written to the people of Cornelia, <coughs> I, have, I have chosen the theme, we are the letters of Jesus Christ. We are the letters of Jesus Christ. Introduction. There are many varieties of letters written by different people. The content, the context, and each aspiration as in all. Different sphere. Some letters aspired death, and some letters salvation, aspired salvation or living. In our lives, we have to impact the family and the societies of today with our good characteristics and heavenly attitudes. Life must be must and should so. Firstly, the kind, the kind of life you have. Firstly, the kind of life, of life you have. You must write your letter well. Your letter shows who you are. Secondly, write your letter simple. Secondly, write your letter simple. Meaning, it must be span and clear. Simple, clear, clear, simple letter to be read clearly by all. Thirdly, interesting. Thirdly, interesting. Write so that people will read and interested in our letter, let them read it all the time. Fourth, inspire. Fourth, inspire. Write that they will be able to learn, to hear. Let the people be inspired with our letter. Fifth, write in faith. Write in faith. In Jesus' name, every letter must bear Jesus Christ's name. It has power. It has purity and sound. Sixth, write with all your heart. Write your letter with all your hearts. It must come from the source of life, your heart. Seven, remember that your name be written in heaven. It is all our role to share 
that our letter bears Christ. Without Christ, you can't enter the eternal life. First, first John chapter 5, verses 11 to, to 12 says, And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. Who has, does not have the Son of God does not have the life. May I conclude? We believers are, letter, are a letter of Jesus Christ. May I conclude? We believers are a letter of Jesus Christ. Ke mo nusa kana nanda vuvale. Au vora utine na ituku tuku sakana mataka ndindai. Ke mo nisa kana nanda vuvale. Sa ta vuti sakana ba malo le vuki na vuvale ba klo na le tolu ndomba nga. Nanda ba ngambo tsike nda chiko. Enda ba chiko roki na mataka ndindai. Ve tamani vuvale andundua. Ve uli bono azere usana ndendri mo nda vuta. Me ba kaya kasa tu na itala in sambala ba ta ya ndambe. Sa ba ngamalo ba vuli ba naklo. Na ve tamani vere ndindui. Ve vuvale ndindui rongo. Sa ba vina vina kata ki. Walaupun, <laughs> Ni laki wala tali na ituk tuk bina kan ibe bang mulai ke Jesus Kristo. Kene yo tio changa, kene yo tio changa, ninggai an rabatiko, ninggai wala isang na tanda, ene wala ni mula tau mudu mai lo malang. Runan runan rau kabit sang share, misalnya tu daki, micin saki na nanda sungguh. Ya longgungan 
Amen. <laughs> Oh, no. 